With the intensity of the impeachment inquiry heating up, we've been tracking our lawmakers' reaction as they're traveling the state. News 8 political reporter Rick Alvin caught up with the congressman from the 4th District today. Rick? You know, U.S. Representative John Molinar represents Montcalm, Macasa, Gratiot, and a good deal of the center part of the Lower Peninsula, and he was in Greenville today. He was talking to both patients and providers about obstacles to access to health care and how both are working together to make sure that those patients get the services they need. But never far from the conversation is what is happening in Washington. I ask, given growing indications that Democrats can post the 218 votes necessary to pass articles of impeachment, where the process is heading. This process will go forward. I believe they do have the votes on the Democratic side to uh, do an impeachment in the House. I think it's important that we take the vote, move forward. Uh, ultimately, there's a lot of legislation that is resting on us getting something done in Congress. You know, there's the trade policy, the new Mexico-Canada trade agreement, uh, the Sioux Locks, something we've been working very hard on. We want to get this work done, and the impeachment is really holding up some of the progress on that. Now, unlike senior Democratic U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, who we spoke to last night, Molinar doesn't believe the president has broken any law. Stabenow said what the president said in his phone call with the Ukrainian president was, quote, in her words, wrong. Gives you a bit of an idea of the divide in Washington and why both Michigan lawmakers urged getting through the impeachment process so they can get back to work on what they say needs to be done.